This video is brought to you by HoodBeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. HoodBeast.com. We are beast. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy 2J's Kicks and my boy Just Win. Yeah. Uh, had the opportunity to kind of get away from the shop uh, a little earlier tonight and come hang out with uh, Blake and uh, kind of talk about a couple things as far as uh, what you're doing this summer, right? Yeah, I'm going on, we're going on tour. Hopefully you come to a lot of the stops and we'll make that like kind of like a joint thing. Hitting, I want to say 14 cities in 55 days, right around there. Anywhere from like as far west as Seattle to as far east as like New York, Fort Lauderdale, New Jersey. So it's going to be super fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, he's just over here tonight because actually as of today, like the day we're filming this, which is May 20th, is exactly one year since the first time I ever uploaded a video on YouTube. So I just had him and like his whole staff over and Joni and Cease to just kind of have dinner, relax, like take a step back off the camera. But it's never totally not work. Yeah. We're definitely still filming. And, so. and I got to admit, man, it's uh, it's it's really exciting and awesome to see your growth like in this year. I, I mean, I've known you for a few years now, since pretty much since the shop opened. So this to see where you've been from where you went selling shoes on your own to now like taking on YouTube and and like pretty much becoming like a overnight shoe celebrity right it's uh like I I mean we talk about it a lot off the camera like it's humbling to see yeah. the support and super um, I know a lot of the other people the other personalities that are on YouTube it almost it sounds like we're all regurgitating the same thing but we all genuinely feel the same way, right? Definitely. Like, without you guys paying attention, we're not able to do any of the stuff that we're doing. And, and you know, 14 cities over the course of a couple of months. Um, I'm, I'm all over the place this summer also, but I am going to make a conscious effort to at least hit one or two of those. I think I'll probably keep it secret to the masses and just, just the show up. up. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that'll be really dope. But. Uh, Another thing that we had in common was uh, Louis Fragment. This stuff is so sick. Yeah, we were... So sick. Yeah, we talked about... what well, we had seen last year they did the collab with... Uh, Fragment did the collab with Louis, and we obviously we missed out, right? And then we saw it pop up in a couple cities overseas. Yeah. And we were like, man, if we could get our hands on it. And then next thing you know, you call me, and you're like, yo, I, I, I got this one piece. <laughs> and, uh, like... I like, you know, I did Arthur Fist for a second because I really wanted that piece also. Um, and then like a few days later, I was able to get that piece. What piece are we talking about here? Should I pull it out? Yeah. All right, so it is the, this is so sick. This is the Louis Vuitton fragment jacket collab. I'm kind of jealous that you got like the, you got the actual bag. Yeah, it comes in like, when you get something from Louis Vuitton, it comes in like this big, like... I didn't get that. Jacket bag. Maybe it's because I don't have that many subscribers on YouTube <laughs> and they didn't know how I don't I think was. it's a YouTube thing. But, uh... This is so nice, though. Yeah, I got... You got... Did I even get the same hanger as you? Yeah, you even get the Louis hanger. Wait, can you see... Can the camera see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the Louis hanger, bro. I what have... Kind of hanger do I, you I got? got a plastic one. Louis kind of like shortchanged me on it, but I have the same jacket. I swear to you, this <laughs> is like a real jacket. Um, really dope. The, you know what I like about this jacket is, I, I don't think this is suede, but it's like a- Yeah, it's like a- Microfiber, like, it's linty, but- it, Oh, it's super linty. Yeah, this, I got And I got cheap. three dogs and two cats, so this is gonna, it's gonna be a kind of a weird color when I wear it. So it won't even look like we're wearing the same thing, because mine's gonna be full of- What full size of did you got? Like 54, I think. I don't know what size I got. Either 54 or 52. Um, but I know that it's a little- 54. It's a little big on the sleeves for me. Where's the size? Well, mine has the tag on it. It's probably, yeah, right there. I got a 56. You want to trade? No, this is too <laughs> big on me. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You're still growing though. It's yeah. really dope jacket. This didn't hit too many stores. Across no. the country, right? Like where, no, where, like mine, where did yours come from? Oh, I don't know where the jacket itself came from, but the person I I had to talk to the manager of the New York store to get it. I don't know where it came from though. So mine I got from Vegas. It didn't release in Vegas, but my my rep is now in like operations. Okay. So uh, 
you know, they they obviously made a few phone calls and were able to take care of us. Um, it's a crazy piece, man. You know, yeah. This is by far one of my favorite Louis pieces that have come out in the last like couple of years. Like I'm in a Louis, like I don't buy a lot of that stuff, obviously because of the price points, and it's just hard to keep up with it. Like they just drop, they drop so much stuff throughout it, the year. The hype on Louis, like I mean, Louis is Louis, but at the same time, nothing's usually so hyped that it sells out. It yeah. sits because the retail is whatever. Like most brands, like when they come out with stuff, they'll have a retail at 180 and then it'll resell for 550. Louis Vuitton will just retail it at 550. So that way yeah. anyone who can afford it and is willing to pay that resale just gives all the money yeah. to Louis. But that also kind of helps like with the whole higher end thing. The other thing too why I really like it is because when I was in the end of eighth grade, my mom made me stop playing tackle, like tackle football because I like got a back concussion. Jacket. It's like my Letterman jacket. I mean, yeah. so all the kids in my school can wear their football jackets and their, and their whatever else sport now. Yeah, like, I would rather, right. I, I, I'd rather I suck at sports, so this is my Letterman jacket for hype. I'm, var I'm varsity hype <laughs> team. This is actually my second -American. varsity jacket and neither of them are for sports. That's crazy. Yeah, I have a few, co I have a few varsity jackets, but none of them are for sports either. So uh, you're at what, like 182,000 subs? Yeah. I'm a little more, yeah, like 183 something. 183. Yikes, that's crazy, man. In a year, dude. Yeah. Where do you think you're going to be, like, in a year from now? Like, number-wise? Where would you like to be? Because, I mean, I, I mean... To be honest, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, of course I care about the number. But at the same time, like, if you, like... So I actually made a business plan for the YouTube. This is something that not a lot of people know. Like, part of the reason I even started YouTube, because I resold sneakers for, like, five or six years. And I had a project at the end of my economics class last year in school, which was to make a business plan. And I didn't really want to do that because I already had my resale business and I was like, what am I going to do? I already have a business plan for this. I don't want to do that. They're like, oh, just write a business plan for a variation of what you would do. So I'm like, all right. So I ended up writing a business plan for YouTube. And it was really just for the grade in the economics class. And I ended up talking to it a lot with my teacher and yada, yada, yada. And then over the summer, I was like, I have this plan. It's a good plan, and part of that plan was my goal was by graduation, which is May of 2018. I'm a junior right now, I'm finishing up my junior year. In May of 2018, I wanted to have my 100K subscriber plaque. I already have that. I've already almost doubled that. So at this point, I'm like playing with houses money. So I don't care so much where I end up number-wise. I just want to like, like part of the reason I want to travel as much this summer, in addition to think, saying thank you to all you guys, is so that each and every day, no matter how little sleep I get, I can put out content that is enjoyable and never the same. Like one day is Boston, next day is Philly. Literally that afternoon in Philly, I go straight yeah, to Raleigh. I saw your, I saw your like, schedule, like, I mean, I saw it on the back of your shirt and I was, I was like blown away. I'm like, I'm like, Blake, if he gets a flight delayed or if like driving from one city to the other, like if there's any traffic, this is gonna like, you're cutting it close on some of these. Well, actually, man. so like the one that's in Philly and the one that's in Jersey, the stores are 40 miles apart and I left yeah. myself five hours. So that's not that bad. Yeah, like, no, you is, should be good. There's not that much risk. And like, then after Jersey, it's like, I wanna say 55 miles to New York and we're driving there that night for the New York pop the next day. So, I mean, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hectic. It's gonna be something I'll remember for the rest of my life. But I also like, I bought a traveling drone. Like I wanna make sure that my content is there. I think the subscribers, the views, all that stuff will just come if the content's there. And so hopefully that's what happens this summer. I'm super excited about it, gearing up for it. I will not be taking this piece with me because with how hot and humid it is there, bro. Oh my God. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be wearing mine in London because it's like 60 and no 70 way. and raining most of the time while I'm out there. So I. I'm taking this, I'm, I'm packing light. I'm not taking too many shoes, not taking too many clothes. Like, just cause, you know, I, I live, like our hotel rooms are weird in London. Tiny. 100 square feet, like. That's like this table that we're filming on. <laughs> it, almost, dude. Like, I, I joked with Joni and I said like, dude, we, uh, we might have to like open our suitcases in the hallway kind of thing. Like, you take for granted, you know what I mean? Like this, the space that we have here um, in an apartment or a condo or a house yeah. or whatever, man. But I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm truly excited. We're flying out. It's what Saturday night. So I'm flying out Tuesday. It's, it's going to take us about 12 to 13 hours to get there. And then it's like, for me, it's like meeting, 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 
Then, yeah. uh, then Crep is uh, opening their store. Right. We're having a dinner with Crep and like some of. I, I mean, I'm honored. I'm even surprised that I was even invited to it because like I have no affiliation right. with Crep. Although a lot of you guys have been commenting like, "Yo, Crep's paying you." They're not. Um, you know, I just I, we sell their product in the store, and I think it's great, and I do use it. And you know, I'm in the line of sales, and guys like. To be a successful salesman, you have to you you have to believe in the products that you're selling. So I use it, um, but they're opening up a store that's like so unique, oh, and it's, be, oh. it's it's exciting to see what a brand that has been extremely creative throughout their entire existence and putting their spin on to what they feel how consignment should be done. Like I'm excited. I'm I feel like I'm gonna learn. And hopefully I could bring some of that that back and, you know, put a UN twist to it. Um, Joni and I are going to try to sneak out to France for a day or two if we can. There's some stores that I want to hit out there. Um, and then we literally come home for one day. And then Chicago. And then Chicago. And we're going to, you know, we're there for three days. Mm -hmm. And then I come, excuse me, I come home for a... a Excuse me, I come home for a handful of days, and then it's like LA, Oklahoma, Dallas. Are you uh, doing Oklahoma? Yeah, I'm doing- Oh, Kick Oklahoma. Kick Oklahoma, right. yeah, which I, I committed to that last year, and I'm really excited about going to Oklahoma. Like, I, I used to be stationed in Fort Sill a long time ago, so, you know, I haven't been to Oklahoma in a long, long time, so I'm excited about that, and seeing what the sneaker culture is like there and uh you know there's also you're going to australia right you told me you booked your flights already melbourne september 2nd is sneaker con the flights 32 hours 32 hours dude i saw uh wow 32 hours like i don't even know what i'm gonna i don't know what to do with myself for more than five minutes in the store i can't sit still like you see me in the storm oh, dude, running brutal. around like I, like what do you do for 32 hours? I mean hours? part of it's like, a layover but not that much. Yeah, big. but still. Yeah, it's like the farthest thing away from Vegas. Like yeah, literally it is yeah. the dead other half. Yeah, so, um, but I'm excited about that. I haven't booked my flights yet. Um, one, due to, cause just we have so much going on and there are some things that may stop me from going but I've told Joni like, we have to, have to go. Like, we're going. Um, the only, thing that's messing me up is that we would probably have to go for a week, right? You're going for a week, right? Yeah. So it's 32 hours to go. So basically you have two days going and two days coming back. So in reality, you only have three days and one day you're going to well, be well, jet lagged I'm, I'm, I'm staying there for seven nights. Like, so like I have that on the end of the week. I, I can't do that. So I basically have three days and one of them is going to probably be wasted in jet lag. Oh, um, God. So, but... You know, I don't get these opportunities. You guys have seen my growth and our store's growth, and I just want to share it with literally all walks of life from everywhere. But in that same month, we have, I have a book that's coming out that, you know, is going to be this. It's my first book, like, about me and my story, but it's going to be the second book this year with me in it. Yeah. There's another, I showed the you. The million dollar. Yeah, bedroom. so, so. Uh, my manager and a good friend of mine is releasing a book called uh, Million Dollar Bedroom. He hasn't talked much about it, but it, the short end of it is it's uh, people that uh, came across or overcame, you know, uh, really tough like, scenarios yeah. and were able to overcome. Like I'm in, there's in this book, there's a guy that like sold his business for like 147 mil at 23 like so it's like it's it's inspirational and it's extremely humbling that i'm in that book and uh we might be moving the store which i've talked to you about we've got a couple locations in vegas that we're considering moving to and this is all happening while we're like trying to meet right, you guys trying to meet you guys trying to do still handle youtube and guys like lay off me a little bit like <laughs> i i I, I need you guys more than anything to understand that my channel, there's two reasons why I even, I got back on. The first one was to create brand awareness for my brand and myself, right? 
So you're going to see videos sprinkled in with me in it. But at the same time, I understood that you guys would start watching and that the subs would go up a little bit and that we would get a decent amount of views. And like, like me in the past and even Blake in the past, we needed that cosign from someone to be able to do what we want, right? And I, I'm trying to be that cosign for every single person that we upload onto my, onto my channel, right? So if you see a little kid on there trying to be funny and, and, and poke fun at the Supreme addiction, get off his case. Like applaud the kid for going out of his comfort zone and trying, right? Or you might see someone who's really excited about their sneaker collection. and It might not be Adidas, it might not be Jays, it might just be SBs or KDs. Like embrace it, man. That's the beauty of, of what we're doing with this channel. And I just want to provide variety. And I, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching, you know. <laughs>